so a lot of people have been asking uh want wanting an update on the chickens and the chicken coop want to know what's going on uh with my million dollar chicken coop here of course you know i had to I had to build this thing during the pandemic when everything was five times more than it should be everybody said you got to get chickens you're going to need eggs you're not going to be able to get chickens you're not going to be able to have eggs it, and, you know, like a year and a half or whatever it was, eggs were expensive as shit. Expensive. Hold on. We were paying, we were going to BJ's and buying like five dozen eggs. Well, they were almost $30. And everything was going up, and you watch these pepper channels, and you're not going to be able to get chicken. Uh, ground beef is going to be $50 a pound. You know, come next year, you're not going to be able to get beef. Only the rich, you know, Bill Gates is going to be eating meat. We won't be. Uh, and then everybody was talking about they were killing all the chickens. There was that disease. You're never... Chicken's going to go up so, so expensive. You won't be able to get chicken. You won't be able to get eggs. And I always wanted chickens. So, of course, during the pandemic... I decided to build a freaking chicken coop. It was six times more much, six times as much as it would have been the year before. The prices of chicken coops were like eight thousand dollars. I'm like, so if you watch my old videos, I show you me building this, and you'll see there's no chickens. There's no chickens. Wanted to keep them safe and protected. So I built the chicken coop and they got the inside run. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this. This is the inside. You know, I mean they got the inside coop, they can go in there. The nesting boxes. I put them on the inside. So if it's pouring rain or we get snow, I don't have to be out there and rain's not pouring in to get my eggs. So I can go right in here out of the weather, get the chickens, get the eggs. And I got it blocked off now for the winter. I got a heated water, whatever, I guess you call it. But they needed more room. We had 10 chickens. We ended up getting a rooster. And, you know, we were going up to free range, but everybody says, you know, our neighbor had chickens and they were over here all the time. You know, I mean, they pretty much were at our house all the time. So we built this, this run. They didn't have enough room, so I built this whole thing outside. They had all this out here. And then we ended up getting a rooster. Well, our rooster and the neighbor's rooster, they looked alike. But they didn't like each other. So they were pecking each other through here, going back and forth, back and forth, trying to attack each other, right? So I ended up going to Home Depot and buying plastic. I had to put plastic all down there to keep them so they didn't hurt themselves on the screen. What a pain in the ass. So the rooster was starting to attack you know, my wife, when she went in there to let him out in the morning, whatever, he would attack him. My stepdaughter went out there. He's attacking her. He wasn't attacking me for a while, and then he was. And, of course, you look on YouTube, and you do what they say. You, you grab the rooster, you hold him for a while, you feed him, you give him a snack or something, and you put him down on the ground, and you push him down, and you put, their, put his head between your fingers to make him like submissive or something like that. I did that. It lasted for three or four days. I'm in there. I go to get an egg and I go to put some food down and I look up. He was right at my face. His feet were right at my face. I pushed him away. Do it again. But, you know, he was a pain in the ass, but he's supposedly doing what he's supposed to do, protecting the chickens. Well, I hear all kind of commotion. Of course, he's raping this shit out of every every hand. He's just ripping the hell out of them. Well, I hear all kind of commotion, and I'm looking on the blink camera, 
and they're inside on the roost and he is attacking pecking the shit out of them and a couple of them were, were bloody I'm like, yeah, this isn't good. So they were staying away from him. He was not letting them eat. So we end up giving the rooster away. Hopefully he went to a good home. I don't know. So we just had the hens. And then they were in here. And one night, one of the hens was completely bloody. My wife said, you got to come out and see this. The inside of the roost, there was blood. The inside of the coop, there was blood everywhere. The roost had blood dripping off of it. And I thought the one hen was going to die. Now, we, we had gotten rid of the rooster. It was, I thought one of the other hens did it. And she was a bloody mess. So we separated her. Didn't think she was going to make it. I had to put another cage out there. Kept her safe. Well, I hear all kind of commotion at night. I'm like, what the hell is that going on? I look at the blink camera. I have a camera inside. And four of the hens are beating the shit of, out of the other ones. And the next day, a couple of them were almost not doing real good at all. I'm like, what the hell's going on here? So... After two or three days of that going on, I mean, I know there's a pecking order. They're going to peck, but I mean, this got severe, real severe. So we got rid of the four uh, nasty, because we let them out, and four chickens were beating the shit out of three of the other ones. And, of course, we had the other one. We had Bloody Mary, because she was all bloody that day. We had Betty, Black Betty. And the other ones, we had Laverne and Shirley, uh, a couple other ones I forget. So we got rid of the four nasty birds. And we kept the four, they were getting beat up. It should have been the other way around. But they needed more room. And somebody's like, oh, well, you don't have enough room for them. But I see people, they got like a five by six run with eight chickens in it, 10 chickens, everywhere I go. And this is pretty big. And they got the outside. So, I end up making a bigger section. I put up cattle panels. And I put this bigger section all the way out. So, they have the inside, the other outside that's enclosed, and this other section. So, they got all this freaking room in here. So we blocked the front off, and the chickens had the whole inside, the other run, and out there. Well, some of them were flying out. They are getting away. Then the other chickens from next door were coming over. I'm like, you know what? Hell with it. They want out. I couldn't keep them in there. We just let them out one day. So what happens, happens. Well, her rooster and her three chickens, or two chickens. I forget what she had at the time. They were over here. They pecked each other for a while. They got used to it. And they just roamed free everywhere and didn't have a freaking problem. So I was getting like a dozen, over a dozen eggs every two days. I was getting so many eggs. Now we got four chickens and Crazy Mary, Bloody Mary when they got beat up after she got beat up she wouldn't lay an egg inside the coop anymore and I wasn't you know they were all laying eggs in here I was getting like four eggs a day once we got rid of the other ones so the four we had were laying eggs so then I was getting three eggs because she wouldn't lay in a nesting box but I could hear her when they lay an egg you know they make all that buck 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 the neighbor told me our chicken is in her old coop laying an egg every day. Then she stopped. And then she, I went around, I heard noise behind my shed. She dug a hole and she's laying an egg behind the shed. 
Then I hear her barking one day, and she's on top of the doghouse, the pig's doghouse. Sitting on top of it, she was laying an egg. There was two, two or three eggs up there. So for the last couple of days, she was laying an egg on top of the doghouse. Then I couldn't find any eggs. Then she's, I got a, the wood pile on the back deck, got a big Tupperware, big rubber container of leaves and debris to, for fire starters. She's in there laying an egg in there. She's been laying there every day now for the last two months. Now when the other chicken has decided she sees her in there, now I'm getting two eggs in there. One chicken was laying in here. Ah, oh, what a pain in the ass. So then, her chickens and our chickens are together, running around back and forth. Our house, their neighbor's house. My wife saw them across the street at a neighbor's house, way down there. Come back here at night. Well, <clears throat> so, the neighbor couldn't find one of her chickens one day. We looked all around, you know, because they hide everywhere. And if I had the garage open, they'll go in the garage. I thought maybe one got locked in the garage. Couldn't find her. So one of her chickens just disappeared one day. About two months later, uh, she hears a bunch of ruckus and there's stuff going on. The chickens are freaking out. But well, we weren't home. The neighbors texting us and all the chickens were hiding in the wood line by our, our shed in between the two houses freaking out and they wouldn't come out she's trying to feed them and stuff they wouldn't come out so she couldn't find a rooster and she couldn't find uh one of our chickens the black chicken so when we came home we're looking all around looking all around and the side road that goes back into the woods to all the, the acres of hunting ground back there we walked back and there's a clearing we found a couple black feathers i guess is from our chicken and a bunch of her rooster, Jack. A bunch of feathers and blood all down the road. And then big plunks of skin. And So something got two chickens. Well, a chicken and the rooster. And he was a tough rooster. He disappeared for like a day or two, I don't know, a year ago and came back. And he was, he was in bad shape. So I thought it was a dog or something. I mean, this is like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. But, uh... You know, somebody said coyotes and all, and I'm like, well, I haven't really heard any coyotes lately. I haven't heard a coyote in like two years. You know, I know they're probably out here, but I haven't heard them. But the guy, we text the guy that has the hunting cabin back here, hunting. He's got a bunch of stuff out there to hunt. Uh, he texts back, and he said when he was leaving, our chickens were over here by the gate where he comes in. And uh, the rooster and the black chicken were there. It is freezing cold out here. But um, he sent. He said, you know, he's got cameras out there by all his hunting stuff. And he hadn't seen any coyotes. And th the night before the chickens disappeared, he posted he saw a couple coyotes. And he posted his pictures. Well, now we've been hearing coyotes every now and then. But on this, literally right at the end of our property, right straight down there. He's been posing pictures every now and then, sending us pictures. A lot of coyotes at one shot. So they're hanging out there. So our four chickens are down to three. Uh, I was getting one egg in here. Now I don't get any eggs in here. Uh, so yeah, this is... They only go in here at night. If it's raining, they'll go underneath and eat and drink. But usually that, uh, they're, they're out. So... I could just put a milk crate and they'd be fine. <sighs> Gotta get chickens. You better get chickens. You're not gonna be able to get chicken. You're not gonna be able to get eggs. Eggs are gonna be a million dollars, a dozen. Eggs now are at Aldi like a dollar nine or a dollar nineteen a dozen. <sighs> this is less than a year better get chickens you better get your own cows this so that's where they're laying eggs now I'll get two eggs in there or three 
Lately it's been two, so somebody's not laying an egg. Or they're laying somewhere else. So two eggs a day if I'm lucky. Boy, that was worth it, huh? And then somebody called my wife at work and said there's a pig loose. I'm like, no, I don't even want to go. We gotta go check out this pig. Hey girl. Hey girl. What are you doing? So, of course, we have to rescue this pig. The female pig looked like she was pregnant. We bring her home temporarily. Temporarily. Until the owner claims her. Pig's still here. So, had to go. The movie doesn't really use the cage much, but I had to build another doghouse, almost like his. Had to get another doghouse heater. Didn't have enough fencing. She needs a lot more room. So we went on a yard sale site for fencing and cattle panels. But they, they break through stuff. They're, they're tough. So we found a bunch of these gates. This actually came from another dog kennel somewhere. Still got a tag on it for a dog. So I had to build a thing for her. So now we got another pig. We got three pigs. So people wanted an update on the chickens. Want to know how the million dollar chicken coop was going. I don't know how much it really cost. I forget. I might have said what it was in one of those videos. But it's been a while. Of course, you know, the wood, the price of wood came down a little bit. It didn't go back to what it used to be. Yeah. Uh, eight chickens. A rooster. Now we're down to three. And... So we had three chick we had three chickens left. Well we had four. Then one got killed. And uh, I think one of her other chickens got killed. So the neighbor has no chickens. Jack was the savior. He's the one that was fighting back and forth. Saving our chickens and her chickens. So we didn't have a rooster. We had gotten rid of the nasty one. So somebody my wife works with had a rooster they had to get rid of. I'm like, no, no, no. Well, we got another rooster. I don't know where the chickens are now. No idea. They could be anywhere. Uh, I think I made a video earlier. But we got a silky. His name's Bob. A silky rooster. Quack, 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 quack. Hey, Bob. All they do is shit everywhere, get into stuff. One of them was in the back of my pickup truck the other day. My wife said, before you go out, make sure you look in the back of your truck. I'm like, why? She said, when I went to work, there was a rooster in the back of your truck, or a chicken in the back of your truck. I looked, there was an egg. Yeah, you need chickens. You better get chickens. You are. If you like eggs, you're not gonna be able to find eggs. You'll need to be a millionaire to have a dozen eggs. Six months later, a dollar nineteen, a dollar twenty a dozen. It's cheaper now than it was before the pandemic. <sighs> yeah, I could have built this thing for five hundred dollars. I think it was like I don't know, seventeen hundred or something. <sighs> oh my god, it is freaking cold out here. So that's it for the chicken coop. That's an update on the chicken coop and the chickens. This is Pony Prepper Bill, and I'll talk to you later.